What the heck? This is inside of the building. You know what's hot? That's hot. <laughs> Today's video is extremely exciting for me, but before I talk about it, I have to talk about the elephant in the room. This! Who is she? She is Miss Baldy from Baldtopia. Yesterday I was trimming my beard and I accidentally used a much shorter clipper than I anticipated. So I have a big bald patch right here and it actually really upset me because today I'm about to live the classy life, okay? And I really wanted to look the part <laughs> in my Amazon shirt. Today I am gonna be staying at and reviewing the Hilton Hotel. Yes, it's true. Paris herself invited me. I was kidding. Paris did not invite me. I paid for this. It was very expensive. I've always wanted to review room service. You know, I just feel like room service is so magical. It's such a special occasion thing. And when you get room service, you deserve to know if it's going to be good or not. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to taste test Hilton's room service for 24 hours, lunch, dinner, and then breakfast. Of course, I can't try the whole menu. I'm not made of caviar, but I am going to try three meals and I'm going to rate them each let you know if they're worth it. And of course, I'm gonna be staying in the hotel overnight. So I'm gonna let you know how the room is, how the bed is, how the amenities are. Ameni am amenities? Amenities. So what I'm trying to say is, it's basically gonna be a full Hilton hotel review. Check-in is in 15 minutes. So I'm sitting in a Publix parking lot. <laughs> it's scorching hot. I'm just ready to get into that luxurious lifestyle the moment that I step into those doors, you know? But before we embark on this journey, let's talk about prices, okay? I am staying at the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina. Okay, that is the name, Marina and the diamonds. So on the actual Hilton website, it was over $200 for one night. So girl, I went to Priceline and there was a deal. Mm -hmm. It was $160 for the night. And I was like, I mean, compared to over $200, that's a pretty good deal. But of course, there's a hotel fee. All these rich hotel places always have tons of extra fees. I guess that they know that their guests can afford them. So they're like, Get all the fees. So there was the extra $33 and then taxes and fees were $36. So overall it was $230. And after I booked it, I read the fine print. It turns out parking is $36 a night. <laughs> so I thought that I was paying $160. It turns out I'm going to be paying about $260. Over $100 more, maybe like $266 around there. Ah, so... This better be worth it. Also, please like this video. <laughs> it is the easiest way to support my channel and it will mean the world to me. So like this video and subscribe if you're new here. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a full experience. I hope, I hope they give me a robe. I've always wanted to wear a hotel robe and I've never worn one. And I hope that there's pillow mints because I don't think I've ever been to a hotel. Have I? That has pillow mints? I don't think so. And I've always wanted I've always wanted those mints. They just look so decadent and I just want to feel decadent and classy today. You will see my reaction as I enter the room. It better be up to my standards. I mean, I have stayed at Super 8. I have stayed at La Quinta. <laughs> the Hilton better be up to par or else Paris, you're gonna hear from me. So this is the hotel, Hilton loves it. This lobby is so pretty. Oh my god, this is really fancy. Eat, sleep, beach. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's a little store. I love this for me. I eat so much. And a little cafe type thingy. So cute. Okay, let's go check in. Okay, guys. So, I'm officially checked in, but I haven't seen my room yet. I, um... Just put the little parking tag into my car. It turns out parking is $40 a night, not $36. So my room is in the building called the West Villas. Sounds fancy, right? There it is. It doesn't look that fancy though. Oh my gosh, look guys! We're on the marina and the diamonds! Oh my goodness, this is stunning. So it isn't really a beach, but it's still water, right? It's like aqua. Let's find my room. Hmm, the hallways don't look up to par. Oh, oh wait, they actually do. Oh. Guys, look, so this looks like a motel, right? But then this looks like a Hilton. Oh my gosh, we love that. This is expensive, you can tell, you can just tell. I can smell it. Wait, what is my room number? Am I like allowed to tell you guys my room number? Well, I'm gonna post this after I'm already gone, so just in case, I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know what could happen. <laughs> okay, okay, I have to keep walking. There's someone behind me, oh my god, ow. Oh, they're gone now, that was scary, what the heck? Here we are, where is it? 
right here. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, there. <laughs> okay. Oh. It won't open. It's turning green, but it's not opening. Okay, I opened it. Let's go in. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I'm very grateful. This is my view, guys. <laughs> Where's the marina? First things first. The good thing is I have the perfect lighting so I can eat on the bed while I do my little mukbang moments. So we love that. The bed is stunning. It's a nice king, gorgeous. I love that. What is that? Rotten seaweed? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. It's very classy looking. We have a clock. We have some outlets. Oh, is this the light? <gasps> oh, that's fancy. Okay. We have this pretty little chair sofa thing. And then we have an ice bucket. And then it says hungry always. I really don't want you guys to think that I'm being ungrateful, but I am going to honestly review what I'm seeing, okay? This light is ugly. It does not look like a Hilton light. Am I right? The AC is quite loud. Do you hear it? Then again, I am used to like the wall ACs like at the motels and they, they have that certain smell, which I actually love. And those are much louder, so it's not a big deal. That's actually very nice. The phone looks, looks fancy too. That's a dainty phone for Paris Hilton's tiny hands. And then this is the TV. LG. We have a full body mirror. Whenever people see my like full body, they realize that I have like the shortest legs ever. And it's, I'm a little insecure about it, but it's fine. Long waist, short legs. <laughs> but now it's time to check out the bathroom. Okay, I think it's this. It's a French door moment, two doors. That is fancy in itself. Okay. <gasps> this is the closet! <laughs> no, I don't want to go back in there. Closet! This is the bathroom, okay? Let's see, I'm nervous. Oh, the shower is stunning! Okay, oh, yes! Honestly, this is my favorite thing that I've seen so far. This is gorgeous. I don't have one of these at home. I have like a bathtub shower, which is full of mold and fun guys. But this is, and this looks pristine. This is gorgeous, shiny, clean. I love it, honestly. And this is the lighting in the bathroom. There's a brown splat down there, don't know what that is, but it is keeping the Hilton bathroom humble because otherwise everything is stunning. I, I love this bathroom and I'm very pleased. Okay, so, so far, visually, I'm gonna give the room itself a five out of 10 based on the price, okay? If this room was like 80 bucks, 70 bucks, I would give it a 10 out of 10, right? But for the Hilton, I feel like things could be a little, nicer now the ceilings are very tall but the room isn't that big the room is actually like a little box but i am going to give the bathroom a 9.5 out of 10 because that is stunning i love it so much so far let's test out the bed uh, uh, oh okay there's a lot of pillows uh. oh my god <laughs> okay it's a very comfy bed i can already tell even though, you know, it has all the blankets on it. And I do love a nice little hotel comforter, just white and clean and almost crispy feeling, like kind of starchy, I like that. I'm not used to you guys seeing me at this angle. I feel so weird. Okay, so I think it's time to order some room service because I am so hungry. It is 4 p.m. and I haven't had lunch. This is gonna be my lunch. But I did have a big breakfast, I had. <laughs> Biscuits on gravy. So let's pick our lunch. I have to scan this QR code, okay? So we have mains, sides, and sweets. Right now, I'm just gonna do a main, but tonight you best believe I'm getting a sweet. Okay, so we have chips and guacamole. That's a main? Coconut shrimp, confit chicken wings, farmer's hummus, chicken tender basket, chicken tinga quesadilla, okay? Gulf shrimp cocktail, winter kale salad, classic Caesar, a Cuban sandwich. They knew that I was coming. Fresh caught fish tacos, grilled chicken sandwich, the burger, okay. Cheese steak hoagie, ooh, a lot of options. Fish sandwich, salmon, New York steak, fresh bucciatini pasta, and fish and chips. <laughs> I 
to the chest. I think I kind of want the chicken tinga quesadilla. But I need a side with that. It's just the quesadilla. It's $17, by the way. Add to cart. Um, it says chili spice pulled chicken, blended cheeses, cilantro crema, and fire roasted tomato salsa. I can add guacamole for $3. Girl, no. So as far as sides go, they have a side salad, french fries, roasted sweet potato, winter mushroom risotto, side asparagus, and a side Caesar. And it's all $7 and above. So I'm not getting a side. I'm sorry. Like, none of those sound good enough or interesting enough to be $7. But actually, I am kind of craving a sweet. So I might get a dessert for lunch and then for dinner also. Why not? We're here. We're at the Hilton. They have a key lime pie, a ricotta cream pistachio cake, or an apple cobbler. Ricotta cream pistachio cake sounds amazing. It's $11, but like I said, a special occasion, right? Check out. It'll be ready in 11 to 16 minutes. The actual items are $28. Gratuity is $5.60. Service charge is $4 and tax is $2.36. So for lunch, it's $39.96. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it, Paris. I hope it comes with like a metal cover that you can like take off. Oh, please give me that magical moment. So after lunch, I think we're going to explore a little bit, look at the amenities and see how everything is. I forgot to check all these little drawers and, and cabinets. So let's see what's in them. <gasps> A fridge. Let's see what's in it. Ugh. Oh, nothing. Empty. Exactly like how I should have kept my expectations. Now we have some coffee in here, which I don't. I don't drink coffee, but for people that do, that's there. We love that. And then empty, empty, empty. Okay, fun. So I just noticed something else. The bathroom is extremely hot. There is no air conditioning in there at all. And you might be thinking, Timmy, just leave the bathroom door open, right? No, because the door doesn't stay opened, okay? It just closes by itself, watch this. Leave it open. Bye, queen. See you later. So for someone that takes air conditioning extremely seriously, <laughs> that is an issue. So I think I'm gonna drag this table over to the bed so I can eat on the table. Isn't that so smart? Oh. Okay. Period. Oh my God, it's perfect. <gasps> this is a legit mukbang moment. Okay, I'm so hyped. Hello? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay. Uh, can I get the bread pudding? Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. They didn't have the pistachio cream cake, which is totally fine. Not a big deal. But they do have bread pudding, which was not on the menu there. So I was like, bread pudding. I love bread pudding. So when I ordered the food, they said it would take like 11 to 16 minutes. It has been over 30 minutes now. I'm not one to complain. Okay, bestie. So about 45 minutes later, it's here. And... It's in a takeout bag, which is fine. You know, I didn't get the little metal things. That's okay. That's okay. That's not gonna change the flavor or the quality of the food. So, this must be the bread pudding, okay? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Looks a little dried out. Looks a little <laughs> But it might taste amazing and it smells amazing. Like legit fantastic. And then, the quesadillas in a box. Okay, so no plates allowed. And then they gave me a pretty big side of, oh no, this is ice cream. I thought it was sour cream. Okay, so it's a pretty small scoop of ice cream. Okay, and then, oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a bread pudding sauce. Okay, ooh, it has almost like a whiskey smell to it. Oh yeah, okay. Period. That's iconic. I have some fancy silverware. Um, okay, so this is the quesadilla. Ooh. So we have the crema, the salsa. Is this kind of far away, guys? I think it's kind of far away, right? Let me fix it. That is much better. Okay, so we have the crema, the salsa, and the quesadilla, which actually looks fantastic. Like, look at the chicken in there. It smells very nice. Okay, let's eat. Is the AC loud? I'm sorry, guys. It's not my fault. The salsa smells good. It's 
smells very fire roasted. Okay, let's try this quesadilla. It's very heavy, very thick. Oh my god. Mmm. Focus! Come on, Paris! Okay, oh my god. Mm. I'm not just saying this because I'm really hungry and I spent a lot of money on it. It is delicious. Like, fantastic. It has so much chicken in it. Like, a lot. Mmm. The crema. Mm. Oh my god. I'm so happy. And the salsa. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Salsa's good. Mm hmm. Mmm. It has a vinegary taste to it. At first, I was like, do I like that? I like it. Mmm. Also, I didn't get I didn't get any drinks. I'm gonna have to go downstairs to the little shop and get some water, get some soda. You know. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Mm. So, to be honest, it doesn't even need sauce. The chicken itself has a lot of seasonings on it. I can taste the tomatoiness, human. It's just delicious chicken. It tastes real, it tastes shredded, it tastes like it's like white meat, you know? And there's just so much of it. And there's also a lot of cheese. It's very moist overall. And the chicken has kind of a char grilled flavor to it. And the tortilla is perfectly grilled too. It's just genuinely fantastic. The crema really does taste like plain sour cream with a hint of cilantro, just a tiny hint, but it's very light. Nothing. Mm. Mm. I didn't take a thumbnail. Oh my God. So so far, I have to say, not too impressed with the room itself. There was no robe, no pillowments. Now I think I had way too high expectations, and that's on me. But this is my first hotel review. And I chose Hilton because I was like, it sounds the fanciest, right? Let me pause on the quesadilla and try the bread pudding, okay? Let's put that over there. So I'm just gonna add this sauce right on top. Oh, oh my God. Okay, wow. And let's see how the texture is. It is warm. Ooh, it's very rough. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's very stiff. Isn't bread pudding like supposed to be soft? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's try it. Cheap ice cream, we love it. Uh. Oh my god, this bread pudding though. Oh my god, I need more. More. More! <laughs> what if I get like a noise complaint? Oh my god, that'll be so embarrassing. I better shut up. Mm. Okay. I gotta say, this is one of the best, if not the best bread pudding I've had in my life. Mmm. 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 I made the whole thing right now. I don't even want the ice cream that much, to be honest. I just want the bread pudding itself. Mmm. Okay. Let me pause. So, 
first of all, that sauce. Oh, it's a little stuck. I don't have a drink. Oh my god. We're good. First of all, the sauce is sweet. It has kind of a whiskey flavor to it, but it's light and tame. And overall, it's a creamy sauce. There's a caramely vibe to it as well, which is very nice. Now the bread pudding itself, this is how it looks on the inside close up. See it? Mm -hmm. It, on the top, is quite crusty and, and quite hard, but in a good way. It's like it's been cooked well, you know? But then on the inside, it's extremely fluffy and moist and cinnamony and sweet but also it isn't that sweet it's like the sweetness from the sauce really goes so well with the actual not so sweet bread pudding it's just the perfect balance and then the ice cream is to be honest it tastes cheap but it's still ice cream so i'm still gonna eat it so i gotta say guys so far the food is a slay i'm gonna give the quesadilla a 10 out of 10 no complaints. And I'm giving the bread pudding a 10 out of 10. If I could give it more, I would. It is genuinely incredible. Incredible. What do you guys say? We look around the building, check out the amenities. I'm gonna put the rest of the quesadilla in the fridge because I'm getting full. Okay, so we have an ice maker. I've heard that there's been some Paris Hilton sightings right there. She's so hot that she just has to stay covered in ice constantly. That's hot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Guys, I have noticed that like my jokes are becoming more like dad jokes recently. And I think I'm just like getting older and it's freaking me out. Just still walking. It's a really long hallway, <laughs> honestly. Is there like a map somewhere? Honestly, guys, this is just serving like La Quinta, to be honest. Like, let's let's be real here. Okay, so this is actually feeling kind of white lotus to me now. This is the pool. I don't want to like, zoom in because I don't know these people, so I'm saying keep it to my distance. But there is a grill. There's an East Villa. Oh, there's a fitness center. I'm not gonna work out here because I'm on a day long vacation. But um, we love the option. We do. Especially strong men like me, buff men. What is in here? Mm. Oh, it's not opening. Okay, it looks scary to me. So I'm not going in there. Didn't even want to, to be honest. Oh, is that, a, is that a yacht? Look, I think it's a yacht. Can I go out here? Oh, I can, okay. This is so white lotus. I've got this. Boom. <laughs> Okay, finally, for the first time today, I feel like I'm living that luxurious lifestyle. Even though I'm not allowed to get on these boats, I'm in their presence. Here's the water. Um, I, I think this is the ocean, right? A marina is part of the ocean? No, it's a trench. I don't know. I know that there's a marina trench, right? And she's deep. <laughs> People are fishing. I've never fished. I've never wanted to, though. But now that I'm a man, maybe I will. So the wind was too loud in this footage, but this is just me living my fantasy. Caviar, Gucci purses, Longhorn Steakhouse. That was magical. Honestly, lifted my spirits. I had the delicious quesadilla, the delicious bread pudding, and then I saw the delicious ocean. By the way, guys, I'm sorry that I couldn't really film the pool. There's people in it, and I don't want to be that person. Like, you never know who, like, just doesn't want to be on camera you know what I mean it's just like not cool oh my gosh I see a lot of rich people I can just tell their energy you know Ugh. so I got two waters and a soda and it was about 13 something <sighs> I was parched I can't do that here this is a classy establishment to me okay so I think I'm gonna watch some TV for a little bit and I'll see you guys later so I watched TV for a couple hours and I decided to come back out because I realized I forgot to um, look at the fitness center. That's an amenity. And also the pool is now empty so I can show you guys. It's honestly really pretty. I love the shape. It's like, it's like a bean shape, but it's like 10 beans put together, you know? So as you can see, the pool's nice. There is no slide though, but I guess a slide wouldn't be classy. So, but slides are always fun, right? I love like hotels that have like random slides. 
<laughs> you know? Ooh, the finish room is pretty and no one's in there. We have towels. My gym doesn't have towels, that's for sure. We have water with little cups, stunning. It's giving fitness, it's giving life, it's giving oh, muscles. Stunning. Guys, I'm walking back to my room and I don't know how to get through this. What the heck? This is inside of the building. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna run. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Literally, just I think yesterday I saw this video of this girl on Twitter. She got like attacked by like thousands of moths, and I felt like her in that moment. Cool. I just know that they're trying to eat my luxurious clothes up, and that's not gonna happen. How does Paris deal with that? Like when she visits this location, because I'm sure she does. Oh my gosh, guys, they ate part of my beard. Okay, guys, so it is dinner time, okay? It is 9 p.m. and uh, and um, room service closes at 10. Now, I'm not super hungry, but I do have a little bit of space in there for something, something. So let's order dinner, okay? Give me my QR code. Okay, so this is the dinner menu. It's apparently different than the lunch menu. Okay, it looks like it's the same menu. <laughs> but it says dinner 5 to 10. So it's the same stuff, guacamole, chicken tenders, hummus, <laughs> chicken wings. Ooh, chicken wings. Uh, don't mind if I do. Wings and fries, maybe. <laughs> oh. oh. You know what? I'm going to get the chicken tender basket because the wings by themselves are $19. And then the fries by themselves are $17. That's $26. But if I get the chicken tender basket, it comes with chicken tenders and fries and it's only $18. So I would be saving $8. I'm getting the chicken tender basket. That just sounds much more reasonable. I'm getting ranch and buffalo too. Wonderful. And now because I saved money, I kind of want to try dessert. So let's just do it. I could either get key lime pie or apple cobbler. Each of them are $10. <laughs> uh... Oh, Sarah Paul said, oh my God. We are doing the apple cobbler, okay? Okay, so the subtotal is $29. Gratuity is $5.80. Service charge is $4 and tax is $2.44. So it's overall $41.24. Okay, so they called again and they told me they didn't have the apple cobbler that I chose. <laughs> they didn't have two of the desserts on the menu, guys. The menu needs to be updated, girl. Like, that is a mess. Come on, Paris. So um, I chose the chocolate cake instead. Ooh, I kind of am craving that more than an apple cobbler, so I am fine with that. Guys, the food is here and it smells so good. It smells like McDonald's, to be honest. What if it is McDonald's? <laughs> They're just like, here. <laughs> this is probably the chocolate cake. <gasps> um, uh, what? What is that size? That's a sliver. It's a shrimp. <laughs> Why is it so dainty? I'm not dainty. Why well, I'm dainty, but I'm not like dainty. That chocolate cake was $10. And this ice cream has melted and then they refroze it. You can tell. That's, that's not a scoop. That's a puddle frozen. I'm really shook by this size. $10. $10. At least I'm not that hungry, but I'm just upset that I paid that much for that, that crumb. Okay, now let's see the chicken tenders and the fries. It's very heavy, so that's good. Okay. Ooh, hello, Stunner. The tenders look interesting. They look very different, like a little extra toasty compared to your typical tenders, you know? The fries look nice. My screen is kind of like glitching. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, buffalo sauce. Ooh, that smells sharp. Love that. And ranch. Ooh, that smells like good restaurant ranch. Okay, there's hope. Let's first try a fry. Mmm, I want to be mad about the cake, but the fries are so good. 
Let's try with the ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Yay. It's good, guys. The fries are really crispy. They taste really fresh. Like they were fried in fresh oil. And they have a lot of salt on them. A little bit of pepper. Just a really classic good fry. I'm happy with that. Now let's try a tendy. Okay. This lighting's not great. I'm sorry, guys. But it's nighttime, so... Interesting, different buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. Ranch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ranch and buffalo, both. Mmm. -hmm. They're weird. <laughs> They're like, the batter is like extremely thin and it doesn't really taste like chicken tender batter. It reminds me more of like fried fish batter, which is interesting. I don't know. It doesn't really feel like a tender. The chicken on the inside, to be honest, feels like low quality. It's like, I don't see like strands of chicken. It feels more more like a frozen chicken patty or something that's been freshly battered, you know? So that's a little disappointing. I don't know. The fries are great though. Mm -hmm. Kind of disappointing to be honest overall. Wow. Oh. Forty dollars! Yay. Someone's got to pay so that we all know how the food is here, right? I'm going to pause on the fries and tenders. The fries really are great, though. Let's try this chocolate cake, okay? And this double frozen ice cream. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see how the ice cream is. Yeah, that has definitely been refrozen. It has that icy texture. Let's see how the cake's texture is. Dense. Oh wow, very dense. Oh, it's strong. Ugh. It's so rich. That doesn't even taste like chocolate cake. That tastes like a blob of fudge. I'm not a big fudge person, guys. I think fudge is way too thick and rich. Yeah, there is absolutely no cake texture at all. This is thicker and denser than a brownie. It's literally like a truffle or something. I can see why it's so tiny because no one could eat a big portion of this. It's just richer than Paris Hilton, you know? Ugh. The cake itself reminds me literally of a truffle, like I said, and then there's a ganache on top, which is kind of like what coats a truffle. So it just tastes like a truffle shaped like the tiniest piece of cake ever. No, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna stop right there. Wow. At least we have fries. $40 fries basically, because everything else was tarash. I'm gonna give the fries a nine out of 10. Very strong. Very nice. I'm giving the tendies a 4.5 out of 10. They just really don't feel like tenders to me, and the chicken is low quality. And I'm giving this this crumb of ganache, uh, <laughs> I think, a 2.5. It's just not even in the same universe as chocolate cake. I'm actually very upset that I wasted $40, but now at least we know that this menu isn't magical. Lunch was. Lunch was amazing. Very strong. But dinner, not it. Magic always comes with a price, right? I miss Once Upon a Time. That was such a good show. I named my dog Regina after Regina. Queen. Literally, evil queen. 
So after I eat a few more fries, I'm gonna go shower and then relax in bed and maybe fall asleep soon, to be honest. Okay, so this bathroom is still extremely hot. I don't know how to cool it down. I'm gonna try out the shower. Oh! Ooh, look at those pecs, guys. <gasps> I'm so hot, oh my god, I'm so hot. What the heck, who is this person? Anyways, let's test this out. Okay, so oh, hot, okay. It should heat up, I guess, right? I'm not good at moving my chest yet, but I'm good at showing it off. Oh, oh it's getting warm. We love it. I'm gonna go shower. Oh my God, guys. There's nothing better than a hotel bed, am I right? And honestly, this one's really, really good. The bed is kind of springy, but it's like a soft kind of springy, you know? And it just feels so nice, and the sheets feel so clean and fluffy, and I just feel like a king! <sighs> this is stunning! So, um, I guess I'm gonna go to bed pretty soon, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for breakfast. <gasps> I hope they have biscuits and gravy, because if they do, you know I'm gonna get that. I'll see you guys then. Uh, okay, I dragged the tripod here. Good night, XOXO. Okay, guys, good morning. So I just woke up. And let me just say, I slept so good. The bed is so comfortable. It's big. It's luxurious. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. And I also didn't rate the shower. I'm giving that 10 out of 10. It was amazing. The water pressure, the rainfall effect. Everything was very clean, very nice. So 10, 10, we love that. Now it's time to order breakfast. I have to check out in less than two hours. Kind of sad. Okay, we have steel cut oatmeal, yogurt parfait, no, no. All American breakfast, steak and eggs, marina omelet, croissant breakfast sandwich, avocado toast, chicken and waffles, and banana French toast. Oh my God. My mouth is watering. The omelet sounds good. I get to pick three, three like toppings, okay? They have bacon, sausage, onion, peppers, tomato, spinach, and cheddar. I'm gonna do cheddar, sausage, and bacon. We're, <laughs> we're in there, y'all. We love that, okay? Add to cart, it's $22. That's even pricier than the other meals, right? Oh my goodness, why is it so pricey? Breakfast food is pretty cheap to make, I don't know. Now I need a beverage, let's see. They have juice or house blend coffee. I don't drink coffee, so let's do juice. They have cranberry, orange, apple, or grapefruit. I'm doing orange for $4, okay. So it's $26, 520 for gratuity, service charges $4, and taxes $2.19, so overall it's $37.39. At this point, I'm used to it. Okay, 11 to 16 minutes. Let's see, guys. Oh, ah! oh my god. Ow. Ah. Breakfast is here. Let's, let's take a thumbnail. Boy. Okay, so we have a cup and we have an orange juice. Minute made. Oh, and then we have ketchup that's so nice i didn't even ask for ketchup we love that more oh and some jelly that's fun okay we also have some butter and silverware napkins and then the actual meal itself which is pretty heavy i'm excited about it i'm hungry Ooh. Okay, I thought that it came with a biscuit, but I guess it comes with toast. That's fine. Not a big deal. Put some jelly on it, you know. That's how it looks. Oh, you can't see anything because of the toast. More ketchup. Wow. Ketchup central. That's, that's how it looks. Okay. It's gorgeous. The potatoes smell very bell peppery. And I don't mind bell peppers, but... I don't like when they take over a whole dish, you know, but let's first try the potatoes. Okay. Um, they have a nice texture, but flavor wise, there is nothing there. Mm. Okay. They just honestly taste like a saltless 
seasonedless fried potato. So let's add some salt. Needs a lot, girl. And we have ketchup, so we love that. Now let's try this omelet. You can't really see it, I'm sorry. These boxes are kind of annoying. It's a very thick omelet, wow. Ooh, very cheesy, oh my gosh. <gasps> that looks amazing. Oh, oh, oh. It's pretty good. There's, there's a weird aftertaste though. It's almost like a processed aftertaste, even though this is obviously a very fresh omelet. It might be coming from the sausage, but it's a good omelet. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. The eggs taste simple. The sausage and the bacon bring all the flavor. Mm, much better with ketchup, wow. And the um, cheese brings the richness right I like it yes and they did put a lot of bacon a lot of sausage and a lot of cheese look at all that guys you know mm. Mm -hmm. the bacon's really crisp in there it's not gummy at all let's try the jam on the toast. Okay. I think it's strawberry jam. I've always liked jam, but I don't eat it often for some reason. I don't keep it in my fridge. I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I should. I love PB&Js, that's for sure. Let's try jam on toast. The toast isn't toasting. <laughs> Mmm. But well, the jam is good. Mm -hmm. mm. This is like some Wonder Bread basic, you know, pre sliced loaf. It's fine. I just wish it was more toasted. Hello, Queen. Well, the jam is really nice. Perfectly sweet. It goes so well with the toast. Love it. Mmm. The potatoes aren't it. The omelet's pretty good. And the jam is pretty good. I think I'm going to give this breakfast a 6 out of 10. It's good enough, but I do feel like it could be really improved with some slight changes, like seasoning, right? But that's just me. <laughs> I enjoy flavor. So now that my little staycation review is coming to an end, what do you guys think of it? I had so much fun. I did expect... The Hilton overall to be a bit nicer because online they did put that it's a four star hotel, at least on like Priceline. So I was like, four star means fancy, right? But to me, this just feels like any average non luxury hotel or motel, even, you know? So, besides the shower. <laughs> so, I don't think I would come here again for the price. I could get all the same stuff for probably like 80 bucks at a different hotel. You know, also the food it was very hit or miss, you know. Lunch yesterday was incredible. That quesadilla, the bread pudding, 10s out of 10s. But then dinner was bad. And now breakfast is okay. So for 40 bucks a meal, it should be always on point, you know, always. I'm going to give my whole stay, including food, everything, a 4.5 out of 10. Five is like, I'm okay with it, but I actually was a tiny bit disappointed, so that's why it's a 4.5. But I'm not a professional 
hotel reviewer. This is just my opinion. So let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want more of these videos? Because I can stay somewhere else. <laughs> Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo.